Oh, this video is for educational and medicinal purposes only, and we're American. Oh no, yeah, I'm really high off this CBD, you hit me right in the hippocampus, mate. Whoa. I'll CBD you later. Greetings and salutatos, people. My name's Ray, and I want to take you on a little journey with me. This is my first time abroad, and I kind of wanted to do it alphabetically for some crazy reason. I don't know. So we're going to Amsterdam. Let's go. <laughs> At this point I was so captivated with the graffiti on the trains that I didn't realise I was on the wrong platform and I had to run over to platform 4A, I was on platform 10 and I made it just within one minute or something like that, it's crazy rush but I got there. Anyway hold tight because there's some more graph coming on the way home. A couple of hours, I'll be in a Good old Amsterdam, 32 years blazing, 32 year celebration. At this point it felt like it was taking flipping ages to get there. I've never heard so many languages spoke at one time around me. The announcements were in French, German, Dutch and English. There was a Russian guy and his daughter behind me. It was amazing. I felt great. I am interested in languages. I speak the basics of a few languages. It was good to be on a train that had a bit more space as well because the first Eurostar was smaller than a regular in the city. But yeah, this one was a lot better. I think it was still a Eurostar, but it was like a European one. In general, a lot more room. <laughs> all in all I was traveling for maybe six or seven hours and waiting around for a little while but it was a long day it's the furthest that I've ever been in my life <laughs> to put it into perspective so when I got there I was absolutely exhausted I'm not gonna lie I just felt bedazzled you know like sensory overload every emotion at once I didn't really need a joint but then off I went to the first coffee shop I could find when in Rome my friends I just went to the first coffee shop and ordered a bag of super silver haze. 